inside the hall, thanks to the efforts of the great volunteers in the Obama campaign. Obama is pulled to within four percentage points of Hillary Clinton. You say that you tend to vote Republicans. Uh, why are you uh, interested in Obama this time around? Well, presidential elections, generally speaking, yes, I voted actually exclusively since 1984. I have voted Republican, <laughs> and that's generally been because of, I'm a fiscal conservative. And in the past, you know, generally speaking, Republicans have stood more for fiscal conservatism. In the past eight years, as you probably know, that's not been the case at all whatsoever. As a matter of fact, they've spent more than Bill Clinton and several other prior Democrats. So it's not been the case. You can't evaluate people just on party lines and that. What you just witnessed was the one point uh, loss of Hillary Clinton, so it's now down to 39 to 36 percent. What makes Barack Obama, in your mind, different than traditional Democratic candidates that you might not usually go for? Personal responsibility. He wants what the private sector offer us those solutions. Let's face it, socialized health care, socialized almost anything, usually doesn't work because it's not a competitive market. It truly is a horse race. A huge shout went up just a couple of minutes ago as the crowd noticed that Obama had pulled to within under 3,000 votes of Hillary Clinton. So we continue to wait with about 32% of the votes in. He talks about experience, you know, versus um, vision or leadership. Leadership is most important. That's an executive function. I come from the private sector. I've owned my own business for seven years. I'm a detailed person in the certain parts of what I do. I also have to delegate. This is a true horse race. Now less than 2,700 votes separates Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama with 40% of the votes in. It is now 9.43, and Hillary Clinton is over 4,000 votes ahead of Barack Obama. We still can't tell you who's going to win this one, folks, but Hillary Clinton is making this a tough race, much tougher than many of these Obama supporters expected. There is now a 2 percentage spread between Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama's numbers, and this night is dragging out, and looking around the room, people are just exhausted, including yours truly. Adrian Fenty has just made his way into the hall. Adrian Fenty, mayor of Washington, D.C., has just made his way into the hall, so we may be seeing Obama soon. The Associated Press has just called the race for Hillary Clinton, so now we're waiting for Barack Obama to emerge to give a concession speech.